Hi, this is Jeremy Spicer from Eastern Essentials, and today I want to talk a little bit about healing. What is healing? What does it mean to heal? If you're like me, you grew up thinking, hey, if something's wrong with you, you go to the doctor, they find that, they, they check you out, they take some tests, they find the problem, they give you some pills, you take the pills, you get better. Well, this might work for some things. This might work for example, malaria, bacterial infection, fungus infection. Uh, it might work in emergency situations, but it doesn't really seem to work in chronic disorders and diseases or really creating true healing. Um, what does that mean to heal? Well, if you have to take drugs, if you have to be on a pharmaceutical, and when you're off that, you're back to where you started, you're not healed. If you go to the doctor and your blood pressure is 180 over 110, and a doctor puts you on you know, some type of diuretic or something, some type of blood pressure meds, and then you come back and your blood pressure is normal, but as soon as you get off those drugs, your blood pressure goes back to 180 over 110, you're not cured. If you're going through a lot of depression, and you go to the doctor, you start taking SSRI, and you start feeling better, but if you get off those meds, you have withdrawal, or you're back to being depressed, you're not cured. Now, there is a time for us to take medicine, but we need to see what it is and what are the other options that we can do. Now, when I first went to China, I lived in China for a long time. When I first went there in 2000, what fascinated me was that everything was in the hospital under one roof, whether it was acupuncture, herbal medicine, gynecology, pediatrics, cardiology, it was all under one roof. And they didn't look at acupuncture and herbs as alternative medicine. They looked at it as a modality amongst other modalities. So you went, when you have, when you have to check out your heart, you go to the cardiologist, right? When you got something going on with your foot, you go to the podiatrist. When you, you know, you need a upper GI, you go to the gastroenterologist. When you need to get acupuncture, go to the acupuncturist. When you need to get herbs, you go to the herbalist. And they even separated. I worked in the liver department, the liver herbal department. I worked in the arthritis herbal department. All under one roof. It's not alternative. It's just one of the modalities. So when you need pharmaceuticals or surgery, you go to an MD. But what I want people to understand is that it's a different goal. The doctor's goal and my goal are different. I am trying to get you to the point where you don't need any acupuncture herbs at all. I want to get you so whatever you're going through is gone. You don't need, it. You don't need me or anything. I'm also trying to get you to a situation to prevent it from reoccurring. A doctor, for the most part, when we're talking internal problems, chronic problems, okay, I'm not talking, um, you know, a bacterial infection. Um, a doctor's goal is to take away your discomfort by any means necessary, even if you have to live on the drugs. And if there's no other option, they'll recommend surgery. But they're not going to treat why you have to get surgery in the first place. What caused that that needs to be removed? They don't go there. It's not healing. I'm not saying it's unnecessary. We need doctors. But it's we have to know that when, when to use them, when to use someone like me. My tools is needles with acupuncture and herbs. I like to mix a whole bunch of herbs together in a formula, which is how you do it in Chinese oral medicine. You don't just do one herb, 10, 12, 15 different herbs combined together to make something that is greater than each ingredient. The sum is greater than the parts, okay? But, but also what I try to get my patient's head is you have to take initiative too. Because nobody knows everything. If everybody knew how to heal everything, nobody would ever get sick. And everybody would live to 120, okay? But there's only so much we can do. What is most important, for instance, you're on this video right now. 
And maybe you're trying to find, you're trying to get cured or healed and you're looking for answers. That's good. You're on the right track. I, I tell my patients, look, I'm going to do what I can with acupuncture. I promise I will give you the absolute best acupuncture I can possibly give. I will give you, to my knowledge, the best herbal remedy I can possibly come up with. All my knowledge of herbal medicine, I will give you the best I can give you. But the rest has to come from you. You need to heal. And sometimes people need to change their life, how they deal with stress, exercise, diet. You know, you know the story. There's a lot of things people need to change about themselves. But it all starts with you saying, I'm going to get better. I'm going to do what I, I got to do. You might have to read a few books. You might have to go search online a little bit. Um, you might have to see different practitioners. You might have to try something that doesn't work and keep going. But don't depend on doctors. Don't depend on me. But depend on yourself, on your healing path, and use the doctors. Use the acupuncturists. Use the herbalists. Use whatever's out there. But you need to be in the driver's seat. You cannot just go to the doctor, cure me, give me the pills, and surrender. You can't do that. You can take advice. You can take the drugs. You can take the herbs. But you have to, you can't just turn off the brain. That's what I'm trying to say. If you want true healing, and remember what true healing is, you don't need to be on anything. That's true healing. And also, don't forget, life is a healing path. There is not anybody alive right now who doesn't have something wrong with them. Everybody has something wrong. I have something wrong. Everybody. Everybody battles something. And we find that sometimes a lot of what people go through keeps reoccurring. And there's a common theme. And that's why something like Chinese medicine or, or more, you know, uh, I don't know, traditional ancient methods, whatever you want to call it, um, the goal is more balancing the body in a very deep way. Almost the essence of where the disease is kind of sprouting from. It, I'm going to explain this more in other videos, but I just want to get a little basic healing overview here. But... Um, the, there is the disease and disorders you have and internal problems. Usually, they're like the flower. And Western medicine or modern medicine will take away that flower. I try to take away the stem, the leaves, maybe even the root. A lot of times the root. But you need to be able to get the seed. Because the seed, a lot of the time, comes from you. And I learned this very early on in the 90s. In the 90s when I was in acupuncture school, I learned this. When I first started following the doctors around seeing patients, I learned. You are the disease. Think about this. You, you are the disease, but you are the cure. You are the cure. You are the disease and you are the cure. Sorry to point, I'm not trying to be rude, but you know. Um, so what does that mean? Well, who, who is you? What, what do you mean? We, we don't like to think that we have anything to do with our, with our disease. We like to think it just kind of came from the sky and bopped us over the head. But chronic internal problems, they didn't really happen like that. And until we're willing to see, hey, I am my own worst enemy. I caused the disease. Then you can be like, hey, shit, I can, ca I can, I can cause the cure. Now, the cure you, now you might need, now I don't mean you have to give yourself acupuncture, you've got to come up with the herbs, you've got to do your own surgery, that's not what I mean. But you need to, how, oh, okay. how do you know who to go to? How do you know to go to this video? How do you know what doctor to go to? How do you, know, you know, 
how you know which herbs to get. When you're on the healing path, you 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 find the correct answers, and you might take you might have to research, you might have to read a few books, you might have to read some articles, you might have to do some trial and error, but you are out to get healed, and the people that you need, you'll find them. So you got to get motivated, and. I said we need to find the seed, and that, of course, is the goal. But remember, sometimes healing is a lifelong process. Sometimes you're always going to... There are some things sometimes you're always kind of battling with. And that's kind of your, your I guess I would say, your dharma. It's your karma. It's your fate. It's, you know, it's kind of your genetic coding. Um, and there are times, you know, you might have it go away and then you might come back and you'll just get better and better at treating it. And there are some things you can completely get rid of. I could talk more about this in another video. Um, so I hope I motivated you. You can check out my website. It's easternessentials.com. I sell herbal products. And, um, you know, you can email me on the website if you have a question or something. And I could talk about, I could answer your questions in, um, in another video. So, um, Enjoy life. Life is a healing path. Thank you.